Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. Hello, my name is Michael Carruth with Newton Crouch in Griffin, Georgia. Today we're going to be talking about the Raven Cruiser 2. When you order it from us, we'll send it to you. You'll get the box off the UPS truck and when the box comes in, you open it up and there'll be basic components in there which are the the monitor your power wire that plugs into the back of the cruiser and the other end plugs into your cigarette lighter your patch antenna and a suction cup mount that you can mount to the windshield of your vehicle We offer a different antenna, but this is the basic antenna, which is a patch antenna. We also offer a um, cone-shaped antenna that's white and it's cone-shaped. But they both give you the same reception. It's just the cone antenna, the guts in it are a little bit taller, so that if you had the horizon, you could still get reception over the horizon. This is the back side of the Raven Cruiser 2. You have your power source here that um, plugs to your cigarette lighter on the other end. Uh, this is your A port, your B port, and your CAN port. This B port is a port that you would use if you had a boom sense adapter. This port is for your antenna. This is your basic patch antenna. It's magnetized on the back side. It would go on the top of your vehicle, preferably in the center at the highest point. If you have a plastic hood on your tractor or your truck or your self-propelled piece of equipment, you can cut out a four by four piece of metal, Velcro it down to the plastic hood and then stick this to that piece of metal where there is a at least a four inch piece of metal under it it gets a lot better reception that way the antenna plugs into the round port in the back of the raven cruiser 2. this is your power cord it comes in a well-made bag Your power cord that goes to the cigarette lighter there is a fuse inside this cigarette lighter plug and there's a red light on it also indicating where indicating that you are getting power to it if you ever run it straight to the battery make sure you put a fuse in line the other end is the end that connects to your raven cruiser 2 at the round plug in the center but to put the mount together you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. The silver screws go into the back of the monitor. These two plates are different. One plate's metal and the other plate's plastic. So put the metal plate into the back of the cruiser plate connects to the suction cup There's a spring inside the ram mount that allows you to push on it to get it around the balls of the ram mount. And that's the way the ram mount is installed in the back of the Raven Cruiser 2. To dismount it or to break the suction off of it, there's a trigger that you D latch and then a little tab on the 
side of the rubber that you'd pull up and it'd break the suction from the suction cup. And now we're ready to go install it into our vehicle. We've already got the ram mount installed in the back of the Raven Cruiser 2. So now all we need to do is attach the power cord to it and attach the patch antenna to it. And that's what I'm going to be demonstrating right now. It's very simple. All you have is a patch antenna and a power cord if you want to move from vehicle to vehicle. So to install the power cord, of course just undo the zip tie. Roll off however many feet you need. I only need a little bit because my power source is right close to my windshield where I'm going to be mounting my cruiser to. The power source goes into the middle lower plug. And then the same with the antenna. Just take the ties off. And of course when you install it in your tractor or your truck or your self-propelled piece of equipment, you've got plenty of cord and you'll just have to cheer that up however you see fit to customize it to your specific needs or your vehicle. So you have your antenna on one side and then the antenna connection on the other side and it goes into the bigger round port over to the right side and turn it until it aligns with the uh, stob sticking out and then also you would turn it some more and secure it in there. There's a channel that the stobs on either side go into on the uh, female part of the plug. You can see those channels. So make sure that it's stuck down onto the plug and then turned until it snaps. And then your antenna would go on the top of your vehicle. I'm in a truck today for just demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to stick it outside my window and put it on the top of my the cab of my truck. Alright, then you need to suction cup the ram mount to the window. So press it firmly against there, and then once you press it firmly against, turn the hitch or the trigger to securely fasten it to your windshield. Securely fasten the suction cup to your windshield. And then tighten up the bolt in the center of the ram mount to secure the display in place. Once you've done that, then you're ready to attach your power source. And the power source is just a cigarette lighter plug that you would plug into your cigarette lighter. Once you've pushed it in a red light comes on indicating that you have power. Once you've done that you're ready to turn your Raven Cruiser 2 on. To turn it on there's just one button on the side of the Raven Cruiser 2. Press down on it until, until the light bars start illuminating. We hope this video has answered your questions. Technical assistance is available 24-7 on our YouTube channel or our website, www.newtoncrouch.com. Call us at 800-241-1350.
a real person will answer the phone. No recorded menus. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you. Proudly, Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.